In the Soviet Union, helicopters were very indispensable tools, as it was necessary to conquer the eastern part of their vast empire. Welcome to another exciting episode. If you're new here, subscribe and ring the notifications bell so you don't miss out on other amazing videos coming your way. Following the incomplete development of the heavier Mil Mi-12, the Soviet Union engineers at the OKB-329 Design Bureau of the Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant created the design for a new heavy lift helicopter with the product code Isadelia 90, later designated it to be the Mil Mi-26. The helicopter was designed by Marat Tichenko, protege of Mikhail Mil, founder of the OKB-329 Design Bureau. The development of the Mi-26 began in early 1970, and the idea was for the new design to have an empty weight of less than half its takeoff weight and a payload capacity which is one and a half to two times more than earlier versions. The Mi-26 first flew on December 14, 1977 as the replacement for the Mi-6 Corp and is still the biggest operational helicopter in the world. It can carry up to 150 troops, usually 90, or lift up to 20 tons, similar capacity to a Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft. The Mi-26 was the first helicopter to operate successfully with an eight-blade main rotor. It was designed to replace earlier models like the Mi-6 and the Mi-12 heavy lift helicopters and act as a heavy lift helicopter for military and civil use, having twice the cabin space and payload the Mi-6, then the world's largest and fastest production helicopter. The primary purpose of the Mi-26 was to transport military equipment such as 13-ton or 29,000-pound amphibious armored personnel carriers and mobile ballistic missiles to remote locations after delivery by military transport aircraft such as the Antonov An-22 or Ilyushin Il-76. The Mi-26 was the first factory-equipped helicopter with a single eight-blade main lift rotor. It's capable of flight in the event of power loss by one engine, depending on aircraft emission weight, because of an engine load sharing system. While its empty weight is only slightly higher than the Mi-6s, the Mi-26 has a payload of up to 20 tons or 44,000 pounds. It is the second largest and heaviest helicopter ever constructed after the experimental Mil V-12. The tail rotor has about the same diameter and thrust as the four-bladed main rotor fitted to the MD helicopter's MD-500. Mi-26 is powered by two Lotter of D-136 turboshaft engines. Each engine is capable of producing 8,380 kilowatts of power. The synchronization of outputs between the two engines maintains a constant rotor RPM. The second engine's output will be increased to maximum power when the first engine fails to complete the task efficiently. Each engine bay is manufactured with titanium to safeguard against fire. The maximum internal fuel capacity of each tank is 12,000 litres. The Mi-26 can fly at a maximum speed of 295 km per hour and a cruise speed of 255 km per hour. The range and service ceiling of the helicopter are 1,952 km and 4,600 metres respectively, while its hover ceiling is 1,700 metres. The helicopter weighs around 28,200 kilograms, and its maximum takeoff weight is 56,000 kilograms. The cockpit is pressurized to optimize visibility and accommodates five flight crew, namely the pilot, co-pilot, flight engineer, navigator, and electronic radio operator. The seats of the pilot and co-pilot are located adjacent to each other on the front side of the cockpit control panel. The flight engineer and navigator seats are built on the back side of the pilot's seat. The helicopter also comprises a cargo compartment on the rear side of the cockpit, the compartment which is 12 meters long, 3.3 meters wide, and 3.2 meters high, can hold two combat vehicles of approximately 1,000 kilograms each. Two electric winches on the overhead rails are used to move loads into the cabin. It also boasts a closed-circuit television camera to monitor the positioning of the slung load. The Mi-26 boasts electrically de-iced main and tail rotor blades, infrared jammers, infrared suppressors, infrared decoy dispensers, and a color-coded identification flare system to protect the helicopter from ballistic missiles. Infrared jammers block the infrared signal transmission and protect the helicopter from infrared missiles. The first Mi-26 flew on the 14th of December 1977, and the first production aircraft was rolled out on the 4th of October 1980. Its development was completed in 1983, and by 1985, the Mi-26 was officially ready for Soviet military and commercial service, 
garnering a splendorous career in both military and civilian aspects while breaking many records at the same time. The first being when the developers of the Buran Space Vehicle Program, a Soviet and later Russian reusable spacecraft project that began in 1974 at the Central Aero Hydrodynamic Institute in Moscow, but was later formally suspended in 1993, considered using Mi-26 helicopters to bundle lift components for the Buran spacecraft, but test flights with a mock-up showed this to be risky and impractical. The first variant was made and named the Mi-26S, and it was a disaster response version hastily developed during the containment efforts of the Chernobyl nuclear accident in 1986. 30 Mi-26 were used for radiation measurements and precision drops of insulating material to cover the damaged No. 4 reactor. It was equipped with a deactivating liquid tank and underbelly spraying apparatus. The Mi-26S was operated in immediate proximity to the nuclear reactor, with a filter system and protective screens mounted in the cabin to protect the crew during the delivery of construction materials to the most highly contaminated areas. For three weeks in September 1996, the Russian military also loaned four fully crewed Mil Mi-26 helicopters and granted the use of its Anapa Air Base to the world team for its skydiving freefall formation world record attempt. The world team was made up of top-tier skydivers from over 40 countries and led by Hollywood aerial stunt performer B.J. Wirth. Intending to set a new 300-way freefall formation record and use the high altitude and high capacity performance of the Mi-26, the world team quickly flew 300 participants, plus aerial judges, photographers and cinematographers up to 6,700 meters or 22,000 feet, then simultaneously dropped them in a tight formation. The Mi-26 helicopter crews and equipment performed flawlessly in their first experience with close formation flying and flew away with an assist in the new 297-way world record set on 27th of September 1996, just three jumpers shy of the objective. Later in October 1999, the Mi-26 was used to transport a 25-ton block of ice encasing a well-preserved 23,000-year-old woolly mammoth from the Siberian tundra to a lab in Katunga, Taimir, where scientists hoped to study the find and perhaps attempt to clone it. The weight was reportedly so great that the Mi-26 had to be returned to the factory immediately thereafter to check for airframe and rotor warping caused by potential structural overstressing. In the spring of 2002, a civilian Mi-26 was leased to recover two U.S. Army MH-47E Chinook helicopters from a mountain in Afghanistan. The Chinooks, operated by the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, had been employed in Operation Anaconda, an effort to drive Al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters out of the Shahi Kot Valley and surrounding mountains. They ended up stranded on the slopes above Sir Kankal at altitudes of 2,600 meters or 8,500 feet, and 3,100 meters or 10,200 feet. While the second was too badly damaged to recover, the first was determined to be repairable and estimated to weigh 12,000 kilograms or 26,000 pounds with fuel, rotors and non-essential equipment removed. That weight exceeded the maximum payload of 9,100 kilograms or 20,100 pounds at an altitude of 2,600 meters or 8,500 feet of the US military's Sikorsky CH-53E. The Mi-26 was located through Skylink Aviation in Toronto, which had connections with a Russian company called Sportsflight that operated three civilian Mi-26 versions called Heavy Copters. One of the aircraft doing construction and firefighting work in neighboring Tajikistan was leased for $300,000. It lifted the Chinook with a hook and flew it to Kabul, then later to Bagram Air Base, Afghanistan, to ship to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, for repairs. Six months later, a second U.S. Army CH-47 that had made a hard landing 100 miles or 160 kilometers north of Bagram at an altitude of 1,200 meters or 3,900 feet was recovered by another sports flight-operated Mi-26 heavy copter. Unfortunately, on the 19th of August 2002, a group of Chechen separatists armed with a manned portable air defense system brought down a Russian Mil Mi-26 helicopter in a minefield, which resulted in the death of 127 Russian soldiers in the greatest loss of life in the history of helicopter aviation. It should be noted that due to its efficiency and versatility, the Mi-26 has over 13 variants, all modified to accomplish each specific task. Like the Mi-26A is an advanced version of the Mi-26 and completed its flight test in 1985. It's upgraded with a structured PNK-90 flight navigation system for automated approach and decline. Another variant is the Mi-26M. It's an upgraded version of the Mi-26, 
It's incorporated with a flight navigation system, D127 turboshaft engines, an electronic flight instrumentation system, and aerodynamic rotor blades for better performance. The MI-26T is a commercial cargo or freight transportation version. It was first showcased at the 1997 Moscow Air Show. The helicopter was later displayed at Farnborough Air Show held in 2002 after installing advanced avionics by Rostfotol and the MI-26MS as an upgraded model of the MI-26T. The variant is a medical evacuation helicopter and comprises an intensive care section for four casualties and two medics, an ambulance section for five stretcher patients, three seated casualties and two attendants, and a laboratory. We've come to the end of the video. Like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned to the channel.